Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial and the look I am going for today is a flawless skin, neutral eyes and a pop of colour on the lips. So like a bold red lip, pink lip, like a bold colour. So if you want to see how I create this makeup look, then keep on watching. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's start off with the eyes. So I'm using a concealer to cover up all my redness, my veins, and all that stuff that nobody wants to see when you have eyeshadow on. So we're using the Elle May Clear Complexion Blemish Clear Concealer. And I'm bl blending that in with my finger so it is all blended in, no patchiness or parts that aren't blended. And if I'm talking in this video, I am FaceTiming Erin. We, she was filming a makeup tutorial too, so make sure you check that out. So for my lid colour, I'm using this Savvy Eyeshadow Pencil in Crema or Creme or Crema, something like that. And it's this nice champagne-y rose gold colour. I brought it the other day when I went shopping with Erin. She has the exact same one. And we are both in love with it. It's just like a nice lid colour for an everyday look. I'm in love with it. Okay, so I wanted to add a bit more depth in my crease so they knew where my crease was. So I'm using the Rimmel London 002 Smoky Brune palette. And I just used the medium brown and then the second lightest, second darkest brown in my crease. And it just formed a nice dark, not so smoky look, but like a nice everyday smoky eye look and then I applied a bit on the lower lash line just to make the look pull together and it doesn't look so weird and I think that just made the look so good and then I applied the lighter shade with a brush in the inner corner and underneath my brow bone and I just blended it all together so it wasn't so harsh and there was no harsher lines and it just looks so good in the ending so yeah keep blending it till it's your liking so i didn't want to do anything with my brows so all i did is got a spoolie and brushed through my brows to stick the brow hairs in place so of course you have to apply a primer so i used the rimmel london stay matte primer and it looks supposed to stay on for eight hours I totally think it stays on for eight hours and I just applied that with my fingers and rubbed it all in and it is so thick I feel like you have to put it on your hands and rub it and then apply it because I feel like it's if you sit it on there for too long it goes matte and it's really hard to um, rub in so I would suggest to put it all on your fingers then rub it in and it would apply so much easier I learn from your mistakes. And for foundation, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in 180 Sand Beige. And it stays it's supposed to stay for 24 hours. And I am applying this with a small concealer brush. And then I will blend it in with my fake face foundation brush. So yeah! Cover up those big bag baggy eyes. I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in Medium Moin and I'm applying it under my eyes in triangles and then um, around my nose, on my chin, on my cupid's bow, anywhere I feel like I need more coverage like on my blemishes because my skin's been breaking out a lot lately. And to look more awake, I'm going to bake with my Savvy Perfect Finish Loose Powder in 00 Translucent. And I've just got a blending brush, but I'm using it for powder. And I'm just grabbing a whole lot of powder and then packing it on under my eyes. And making it like look really white and powdery. So then later on I can blend it out with powder brush. And I'm applying it where I applied my concealer. So chin, forehead, bridge of nose, around my nose, anywhere. But yeah, for bronzer, I'm using my BYS Minerals Natural Compact Bronzer in Natural Tan. And I'm just applying that with an angled brush to the cheekbones, under my cheekbones, and around my temple, and 
under my jawline and I'm contouring a bit on my nose. So that is all I'm doing with my bronzer and make sure I'm not applying too much or I would look like I've got mud on my face. For blush, I'm using the Essence Silky Touch Blush and I'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks just to add a little pop of colour on my cheeks. So remember when I baked, now it's time to see the results. So as soon as I blended it out, it made my under eyes so much better. It added a bit more coverage and it ma made me look so awake. So now I've got to set the rest of my face and I'm using the Savvy Natural Finished Loose Powder and just take blending that in all around my face. For mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl Super Size Mascara and oh my god guys, I got this a couple of days ago and I'm in love with it. It's the best mascara I've ever tried. Oh my god, I can't explain. So I am applying that to my top and bottom lashes. For lipstick, I'm using the OXX lipstick and I, sorry guys, but I do not know the colour but it's this really pop colour. It's like this really hot pink and oh my god guys I'm in love with this I did outline my lips a bit but I rubbed that off and this is the finish look this is an overall of my makeup my eyes are natural but glam my lashes are glam my face is flawless and my lips my lips are just awesome okay so this is the finish makeup look and I need to fix that because I smudged my mascara but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe for more fun videos. And comment down below some more makeup tutorials or some videos that you would like to see. And yeah, bye!